Hop, 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 hop. Okay, so we're here with the free edition resize and the chat here. Hop. Okay. Good uh, evening, everybody. <laughs> Third week. Yeah, we'll start uh, the serious thing now. Enemies. I uh, will uh, open uh, example game uh, platformer where we left off. Uh, copy third week. Third week. Okay. Open. So it's where we left off last time. We had spikes. We could die. We could uh, pick up some coins. Uh, our uh, checkpoints are working. Everything is cool. At some point, we will probably get rid of the two extra extra checkpoints, but uh, it's cool to still have them to check if uh, everything is okay. Um, so enemies, enemies. Let's make an enemy. Uh, just uh, before we start, uh, not sure everyone knows it, but we've made two extra videos last time. Last time, this week, I mean. Running, I changed that as well. Uh, we've made two extra videos, one uh, in which uh, lasts about two hours on picking, and another one uh, Kiat made on uh, variables, uh, global variables, local variables, static, uh, constant, etc. All the everything you oh, formatting error. I will change that soon. Anyway, uh, one interesting uh, something that you could be interested in in this uh, in the one I've made is this neat little, and I'm trying to find it connecting node uh, system I've hidden the chat I'm naughty uh, like that so yeah connecting node uh, effect where you can connect nodes and uh, you can activate uh, a network of nodes by connecting them it's uh, all about picking and a little bit about function up and uh, connected. Can remove, remove, connect, connect. So uh, yeah, it's uh, you can be interested. So it's uh, you can uh, see this uh, video on Twitch or YouTube. I hope you will like it. Uh, I've made uh, a bunch of example uh, before this one to explain uh, a bit the connecting nodes. It, uh, more complex, the most complex example of the video. Anyway, so yeah, let's start on enemies. Enemies. First, we'll create an enemy sprite, a new object type. 32 by 32, enemies are evil. Let's make them purple. That's the color of evil. And uh, like I s often do, I will put the origin in the button. Uh, for um, we'll see uh, when uh, animations kicks in uh, why uh, often time uh, the pivot at the bottom is uh, a good idea. I will remove these spikes. We'll have our uh, uh, back and forth patrolling enemies here. <coughs> And I will show you two, maybe three ways to handle uh, this kind of, uh, of movement. Uh, there's good and bad in uh, all these ways. Um, you will pick uh, the one you prefer. So yeah, back and forth. The easy way, I'd say, to do it is to use a behavior sign. This time it's the sign, uh, the mathematical sign. 
not the sign uh, plus and minus plus or minus so here you'll have let's put the enemy here since it doesn't hurt for now if I launch the game you have this movement so you have your back and forth but you usually want uh, what's called a linear movement here you have a sinusoidal movement and it's, uh, it's slowed down on the extremities usually you want a constant uh, speed fortunately uh, since some uh, versions ago uh, the movement has some other type of uh, algorithm triangle south so tooth, tooth, reverse so tooth, and square. Just to uh, show you uh, uh, why they, they are called like that, um, I will uh, draw you a little picture. Uh, where are my here? Okay, so the sine sign. Okay, learn to draw. I can't draw a line. Mm -hmm. I thought I could. Ah, yeah. So here you have a sine be behavior, which look a bit like that. Crappy drawing. So you have. It's the graphic that represents uh, the change of uh, x since it's oriented along the time. So here you have little change since the the graphic is uh, smoothly transiting to a. Uh, a more stepped uh, uh, part, and when you have uh, here some uh, a bigger slope, you have much more change during the movement, which means the speed here is low and the speed here is high. So you have a high low, high low, high low. You are slowing down on the extremities. The triangle on the other end is more like uh, uh, let's I'm not sure uh, square um, yeah I think it's like that uh, the triangle is I think um, I, I may uh, <laughs> mix the, there's one who is like that and there's one who is like this I think this one is the uh, so tooth so you have constant speed uh, in the movement and in this one you I think you have constant and it goes back to the starting point linear goes back to the starting point well I don't know let's try them so you've seen a sign let's try triangle yeah so yeah triangle is constant uh, speed constant back and forth speed you have so tooth so I think it's constant and then it will go back am I right yeah okay and reverse is go to the end and slowly go back that's the reverse yeah. go back and you will go to the end okay and uh, so okay I was right, so you have the sign, the so tooth, you have the, oh uh, no, the triangle, sorry, triangle, uh, sign, so tooth, like this. So it's uh, linear and goes back, linear goes back. The reverse is uh, the opposite. It goes to the end and slowly go back. Go to the end, slowly go back. It's uh, this one, but uh, split in two. <laughs> and the last one is uh, the square. The square is like that. So it's mean from uh, one, from uh, here. It will it will stay at one place, then change, stay at one uh, another place, stay stay. It doesn't uh, move. It's a kind of teleport. 
let's look at this still horizontal square it stays here and uh, here and then jump here jump here so uh, maybe <laughs> if you want uh, a blinking enemy but uh, uh, for now the triangle is good so it's our first um, way to make a back and forth enemy the scene behavior there's no event for now <laughs> I will add an, an event to control uh, some of the parameters but for now no event to make a back and forth enemy so it's uh, yeah so uh, you, you can really easily just uh, leave it at that but uh, you'll see why you'll see the downside after uh, I show you a second way uh, let's put coins a bit a little bit higher so it's harder to get them I will remove the I will say remove or oh, it's not hard to put it back so I will remove it or even uh, I will just deactivate it this way it's like it's as if I don't have any sign behavior okay so now the second way to do this is to use another object and I will use something everybody knows it's so uh, anchored in our um, culture <laughs> that you instantly know what it means you shall not pass hmm. little bit bigger ok so you ha you'll have a you shall not pass sprite that will uh, not be shown at runtime so we'll s switch the visible the visibility to invisible but when the sprite will collide these uh, colliders let's call these colliders the enemies I will tell the enemy to go back the other way to change direction uh, anyway. so first you want the movement we had our cine behavior but uh, our I will say cine if you, <laughs> if you please I prefer saying cine because to me sign is the plus or minus so uh, the cine behavior uh, is unactivated now but we will add the bullet behavior for the movement itself this way we can use the speed let's put it at 100 and uh, we'll set angle to no so the the sprite if I want to go at uh, 130 de 180 degree uh, it might turn like this if I set angle so I, uh, I just uh, set it set angle to no uh, boons of I could use boons of solid, but since this is solid, I won't use uh, this. I want just them to boons off to change direction according to these sprites. Uh, oh, maybe it can work. We we'll, let's try. Let's try it. Let's try it. Boons of solid, yes, and I put solid to this uh, object solid let's see oh yeah but uh, it will uh, be a problem with our uh, no nah. <laughs> it's not steady uh, if, and uh, if I uh, my character will collide with them so uh, it's better not uh, to make them solid okay so we have uh, I will plus my uh, character here we have our enemy uh, that uh, is not in the right <laughs> layer remind you of something okay main layer and the enemy is 